recordings just got back. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's data for streaming. So excited to announce that both. Welcome to the New York Yankee Baseball. This is a Sunday afternoon finale from Comiskey Park in Chicago. It is the New York Yankees versus the Chicago White Sox. Hello, everybody. Sports Time Machine here with your with your pregame show, and we'll bring you down to the field in a few more minutes as we go over the statistics and game time to, uh, today. New York Yankees coming at one win and seven losses. The struggle has been real. They were 4-4 four four in actual real life when they were 89-71 and 71 in 1979. While the Chicago White Sox are 2-5, and five, they were 2-5 and five in real life. So they are basically at where they were in real life. They were 73-87. and 87. The statistics, as we look at it right now, the New York Yankees come in uh, last in the American League in hitting with a 230 average. They have hit 12 home runs, but unfortunately, I think Willie Randolph has like four of them. So they're not getting a lot of production from their lineup, and it's been a struggle. The Chicago White Sox are hitting at 279, which is above the team average. They've only hit five home runs. The New York Yankees on the pitching staff as a whole has, has again, been struggling. They're last in the majors in team, in team ERA as they have actually gotten worse than the Minnesota Twins. They're at 6.66 ERA after the Chicago White Sox drove them 12 to 6 in the Saturday game that is on my channel. The Chicago White Sox, not much better. They're at 4.80. And again, they are about they are about you know, they're mid-pack, I guess. The, the, I mean the A's, Indians, Blue Jays, Mariners who expect, the Twins who expect, and the Yankees who don't expect are just down in their luck lately and not playing well so far in this uh, early part of the season. As we take a look at our league leaders getting into this ball game today, Dan Ford leads the American League and majors in hitting with a 488 average. So he's been crushing the ball. Willie Randolph, your New York Yankee MVP so far, hitting 455. He is right there. He's right there in home runs, and he is having a great season. He even has 10 runs batted in. So he is having some April for the Bombers. We take you down to field where today's starting pitcher will be Ed Figueroa for the New York Yankees and pitching for the Chicago White Sox will be Ross Baumgarten. We'll be playing Stratton 1979 was only made in advance. Yankee lineup against the left-hander. Well, again, Mickey Rivers leading off. These are my lineups. Willie Randolph batting second, playing second. Thurman Munson batting third. Again, he's using his 1978 season card. Batting fourth is Reggie Jackson at DH. Batting fifth, Lou Pinnell in right. Roy White batting sixth and left. George Scott batting seventh. He's your first baseman. Greg Nettles is batting eighth. And again, Fred Stanley gets the chance today against the left-hander batting ninth. For the, for the White Sox in the, in the defense, which is not good, it's Moore, Lemon, Washington, Bell, Pryor, Bannister, Johnson, Nordhagen on the mound, and Ross. And again, it is Ross Baumgarten on the mound for the White Sox, making his first start of the season, the left-hander. So it's Baumgartner versus Figueroa. Let's get started on this Sunday finale in Chicago. Let's get started. Mickey Rivers lead off, and here we go. So Rivers leads off, and he ground ball to short. That is going to be prior. Again, these are the White Sox. So anything hit at him can be an adventure. He hits at a shortstop. He gets it. He fields, and he gets him. So he actually fields it, but it's one away. So now here's Willie Randolph. Boy, he's having a season. 455. 
Three doubles, three homers, ten runs batted in. Joe Hagen puts down the sign, the pitch to the pitch to the pitch to Randolph. Five, seven, and struck him out. Randolph catches it on the inside corner. Don't see that a lot. Two outs here in the first, and here's the catcher, Thurman Munson. After having an 0 for homestand, he's got his average up to 139, which says something. It's double and two RBIs. Let's see what Thurman can do. Norhagen puts down the sign. Baumgartner with the pitch. 2-7. Base hit Munson. That's where Munson has been hitting the ball a little bit better on the trip as he's gotten some hits. So he goes to first on a first Yankee hit of the game. And now here is Reggie Jackson. Again, he's back at designated hitter today, trying to get the Yankees a little better defensively. 294, two homers, five RBIs. Norhagen puts down the side, a pitch from Baumgartner. 6-9 and a walk, and the Yankees put a couple men on. So Jackson, ball four, months in the second. And the Yankees got a little something going. Here is the left right fielder, Lou Pinella. He's in right today. He's usually playing left. Again, give the Yankees a little better defense than Jackson. And with the lefty on the mound. Norhagen put down the sign. Baumgartner in the pitch. Three, four, ground ball back to Baumgartner. He gets it, throws him out. And, folks, that will end at the top of the first. No runs, one hit, and two left. One happening a play. It is New York nothing and Chicago nothing. We go to the bottom of the first inning. In here at Comiskey Park in Chicago. Alan Bannister to bat, hitting 148, a triple so far this year in 27 at bats. Munson puts down the sign. Ed Figueroa on the mound, 0 and 1 with a 5.40 year red, making his third start of the year. White, Rivers, Panella, Neville, Stanley, Randolph, Scott, and Munson as your pitcher. 3 8 is a ground ball to short, picked up by the chicken. He got it, throws him out, and there is one way. Now batting George Orta. Boy, did he have a game on Saturday afternoon. Hitting 348, a double, two triples, and an RBI. It was a home run from the cycle. 5-7, and draws the walk. So Orta's on with one out. We'll see what kind of speed George has if he's not being held on. He only had one stolen base on the season, so I'm guessing he'll be staying right there. Runner on first. Let's see where he is at. 5-7, then we get first base 40%. With Quadel Washington. Let's see if we want let's see if we can hold them or not. And no, we'll not. So we'll, oh, he's being held. We don't want to hold them, so we want to put Scott to play back of him. Munson puts down the sign. Figure row at a Quadel Washington. Six seven. And that folks is a base hit. This team just can't get a break. As Claudel Washington rakes one in the corner. Corner right field. That's a three. That's a double for Claudel Washington. So he gets his second double of the year. And the Sox have second and third with one man out. Oof, my goodness. This team is going to come home to some boo birds at the stadium and have George Steinman are knocking on doors. Second and third, one out. And here's Chet Lemon hitting 292, a home run, four RBIs. Munster puts down the sign, figure raw in the pitch. And that's a strike. Got a huge strikeout there for Ed Figueroa. Gets the big strikeout. And for Ed, that is strikeout number 11 on the season. So two outs and two on. It'll now bring up Lamar Johnson. And Johnson, the first baseman, comes up right-handed hitter. Hitting 308. Three doubles, a home run, and four runs batted in. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa from the stretch. 5-3. And that's why you put a better right fielder out there. 5-3, the fly ball in the right field. You don't have to worry about Jackson's four. Let's see if he makes – oh, he's not going to make the catch. That's going to drop in for a base hit. It does. It's a single and an error on Pinella. Johnson will go to third. Pinella misplayed it. And how about that as Johnson goes in the third? Oh, it rolled right past him, and it's 2 nothing White Sox. Holy cow. So now up for the White Sox will be Junior Moore. And all of a sudden, you can see Bob Lemon just not liking this one bit. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa in the pitch. Ground ball back to the mound by Figueroa. Gets it, throws him out, and that will end the bottom of the first inning. Two runs, two hits, an error. We played one, two nothing White Sox here at Comiskey Park on a Sunday afternoon. For its Figueroa, official scores have deemed it 
one run earned. So he got one run earned out of the two. Here is Roy White. He gets to start hitting .77. That's supposed to be a problem for the Yanks. They're not going to get a lot of outfield production. Norhagen, the catcher, puts the side down. Left-hander puts it down. Five, eight, and that is a ground ball short. They have to hope they get some help from this White Sox defense. That is a 4E32 once again. Prior, that's going to go in the hole. That's going to be trouble. He's going to pivot and not a play. Oh, that's a base hit. He does get it, so he does not catch much on of it. So White beats it out, right on first. That is the Yankees' second hit. And now here's George Scott. He's hitting 182, 11 at bats, a homer, and three ribbies. He's getting the start. Campbell has been struggling a lot. He's sitting against the lefty. Norhagen puts the sign down. Bum Gartner with the pitch. 3 10 and a fly ball left field. Just missed it. Moore will settle in, backs up a step, makes the catch, and there's one out. Yankees won the opener here Friday night, then lost 12-6 in our last televised affair, and this is the Sunday finale. So here's Nettles, one out. Nettles on the ear, hitting 188. Again, struggling, couple doubles on the season. So he put down, puts down the sign, lefty-lefty on the matchup and the pitch. 3-12, wide drive, and it catches Roy White off first base, and they will double him up to end the inning. Oh, my, that's the Yankee in a nutshell. Bash or throws it back of him, and that will end it. We played an inning and a half, 2 nothing White Sox. So now here is Greg Pryor, followed by Kevin Bell and Wayne Northhagen. So that's for the Sox here, bottom of the second. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa pitches for six, five ball left field. Good job by White. Comes in, makes the catch, and that's one out, number one. So quick out here, first one. So, I, oh, it was the Rivers should make the catch. I think screw that up. He does. That's good. Kevin Bell hitting 238. No homers, one RBI. He's the one that wanted that. Two seven. Yeah. Struck him out. Two outs in the second. So, big two outs. Batting for the White Sox, Wayne Nordhagen. So, yeah, Nordhagen, the batter, he's the catcher today. Worthen got the start yesterday's game. Nordhagen, 10 at bats, has three hits, has a double and a ribby. So one out, two out here in the bottom of the second. Norhagen, the righty, usually mashes lefties. 5-9, ground ball in the second. Randolph's got it, throws him out, and gets a good throw off. Hey, we played two here in Comiskey a Sunday afternoon. It's Chicago 2 and a New York Yankees nothing. We play the top of the third. So top of the third here in the here in Comiskey Park. Mark was going to say Bronx in New York, but I schedule and see if there's anything we'll be televising, at least guaranteeing you to, uh, television right now. Let's see, with the game, they do have that Mayor's Trophy game. That might be a fun game to do against that 79 Mets and see what happens. And then it will be basically a Baltimore series at home. It looks like they'll have a game on Sports Channel on the 17th, and then TV on 18th and the 19th of this month. And then we return for a full weekend with the uh, with the Texas Rangers, so stay tuned for that. We'll have some more baseball coming up. Fred Stanley about it. Norhagen puts down the sign. Here's the pitch. Three six struck him out. So Fred Stanley and to hit that lefty did not work that time. He is out. He was two for six on the year, so he's doing his job. So now here's Nick the Quick. He's go for one. He's been a nice addition since he's being reacquired for the Rangers. Norhagen put down the side. Here's the pitch from Baumgartner. 4-11 ground ball to first. Lamar Johnson's got it. He will take. He will pass it to Baumgartner just in time to get Nick the Quick. Two outs in the third. Still two nothing White Sox. So now here's Willie Randolph the batter. Willie's first. First, second at bat. He struck out his first time up. Norhagen puts down the sign. Three, 12. Oh, that's the thing they could not afford to happen. 574 bats. I'm hoping it's not a serious injury. Ground ball. It's a tweak. Let's see if Randolph runs it out. Oh, entire Baltimore Orioles series. Just what this team did not need. So Mick to Willie will go down. He's grabbing at his hamstrings. And now the Yankees have a problemo. So let's see. And Bucky Dent will have to come in. He was taking the day off. It's okay. You have a lefty in there. So that works for this team. So Dent will move the short. And that will move Fred Stan Randolph has been stopped. So Bucky. 
on the third year. Two nothing Chicago. Bannister the bat. Figueroa the pitch to two of them. Three four ground ball to short. Picked up by Dent. First play of the game. He gets up second. This could be an issue for this team. So now batting will now batting for the White Sox will be towards Ordon. Ford one or two runs so far with a walk his first time up. Once it puts down the sign, Figueroa on the pitch. Five ten. Popped up behind the plate. Munson should get this one. He's running on a 2-E-6. Should be able to make the play on this. He comes over. Does he make the play? Yes, he does. He puts it away for two outs. So here's Claudel Washington. He doubled his first time up, and then he scored one of the White Sox runs. Munson puts down the side. Here's a pitch to Claudel Washington. Single at center field for Claudel. So he's been hot. He was a Yankee before he passed away. Saw him hit one of the more memorable home runs. He has two home runs and seven RBIs so far. So he's doing a nice job for the White Sox this year. Runner on first and two outs, and it brings up Chester Earl M in the center field. I'm looking center fielder on this team. One six looks down the sign. Figure all up from the stretch. Two fives. Ground ball to short. Good play by Det. He feeds Stanley the easy way to end the inning. We played three here at Comiskey. Two nothing White Sox as we head to the fourth. So again, we've just heard word that the Willie Randolph looks like it looks like it might be somewhere between a pulled something, a pulled a pulled muscle or something, or a hamstring. He looks like he'll be day to day, aren't we all? And he will return. So Randolph will, will won't be on the DL, thankfully, but he'll miss a couple games. So so now here's Thurman Munson. Munson, the batter, he's one for one of the single. He's averaged up to 162. Let's see if Thurman can continue the, the hotter bat. Norhagen puts down the slide. Here's the pitch. Four, four, five ball the center. He hit it at the wrong guy. He hit it at Chet Lemon. He should get this one. It's hit right at him. On an E11. Could be interesting if he has to field it on the X. Let's see if he can field this one. And he does. He makes the catch. One away. So one away here in the fourth. Here's Reggie. He walked his first time up. Yeah, Yankees are able to score with this little rally they had. 6-11, fly ball left field. That is Junior Moore. That could be a little bit dicier. He's a 3-E-11. Let's see if he makes this catch. Down the left field line, Jackson slices it down there. Moore doesn't have to make a run for it, or does it go over his head? Moore with the no, he dropped the ball in his glove, and Jackson will take second on the E. E7 for Junior Moore. That's one of the many errors for the White Sox in this series. So now, runner on second and one out. Here's Lou Pinella. Pinella steps up. Norhagen puts down the side. Bond Gardner. Here's the pitch to Pinella. Four, eight. Nope. Line drive first base. Happy. Lamar Judson snagged Lou Pinello, or I should say Roy Way. White the batter. He has struggled a bit. Again, he again he's looking for an answer on this Yankees team. Norhagen puts on the sign. Bumgartner in the pitch. 5-3, five, 5 ball right fielder, testing all the outfielders. Here's Claude L. Washington. We'll see if he comes down with it. He's a 3-E-10. That could go either way for Claude L. Let's see if he's able to make the play on it. He comes in on it. Does he make it? No, he does not. He does not. That's a double. So he scored from second. It's off the wall. Washington played it on a hop, and the Yankees are in this game. It's two to one. So RBI double Roy White. Again, Yankees taking advantage of White Sox shabby defense. Washington wasn't playing White. Uh, he wasn't playing them to pull and they're nearly not deep enough. Went over his head. So now here's George Scott runner on second, two out. Scott can get the Yankees back in this. Norhagen puts down two, two, ten, ground ball hard to third. Bell's got He'll throw out the slow footing George Scott to end this inning. So we played a four as we played three and a half. Yankees get a run. It's 2-1 White Sox. So now Lamar Johnson, we fall by Junior Moore and Greg Pryor to back for the back for the pale hose. So here's Lamar Johnson, one for one, has a couple RBIs on the single and error. One of the runs was not earned. Munson puts down the sign, Figueroa and the pitch. 4-4, four, four, ground ball to third. That is Nettles. We'll see what Greg can do with this. 
four, four. Nettles the one E18. Mark Jackson, he does good job. So Nettles, the, the hall, the to say hall thing. The great player that he is, one away. Hall of Famer Hall is extremely good. Munster puts down a sign, figure all out and the pitch. Six, six, base hit. That's a base hit for Junior Moore. Figure all card, not so good against the righty. So one on and one out. So here we go. It will be Junior Moore. He's 0 for 1. Munster puts down a sign, figure all from the stretch. Four, four, nine, and a line drive to the shortstop as Bucky Dent gets it. Oh, he just gets in the game, and a line drive finds him. So that's two outs of the fourth. And now we'll bring up, and now we'll bring up Kevin Bell, third baseman. So Munson puts down the sign. Bigger off from the stretch. Five, six, got him on strikes and gets him. So nice job there. So we'll go ahead and do that one. We played fours, two, one, White Sox. So we head to the fifth. Oops, give me. One moment, got to just do some bookkeeping here. We'll probably, I'm gonna see if we can broadcast some of those games. I think I'll get a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, how that's how that is working. We're using the Stratomatic 365 site. If you've ever been on there, and if you go on there, the all time greatest nine set, there is what's called a the, what's called the, uh, the, the player tool. You can pull down the player's roster. And what we're doing is where we did an auction. We did an auction draft, um, eight teams, and we had about $90 million to spend with a buddy of mine. And we had some fun with it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we had a 16 teams East filthy league. For some reason, we decided to toss that and go to something with an auction style. And it's a whole different concept than what we were doing before. So stay tuned. Might have some of that in our future on here on Sports Time Machine doing some Stratomatic Baseball coming up in the near future. So let's go back to the game after I sent my Excel file in my, in my Skype. So we're now in So we're now in the in the fifth. It's 2-1 Chicago. New York, one run, three hits, one error. Chicago, two, four, and one. So now let's see if the Yanks can get back in this. It'll be Nettles, Stanley, and Rivers, left, right, left, against Ross Baumgartner. Norhagen puts down the sign, lefty, lefty matchup, 5-8. There's just nothing in that column if you want Ross. Fly ball center field, catch is made, Nettles retired, and he's 0 for 2. Yankees trying to get 2 out of 3 in Chicago before they go home, and they're going to have to go home without Willie Randolph. So that is not going to be something Yankees are going to look forward to. Norhagen puts down the sign. Baumgartner to Stanley. Line drive second base. Oh, Stanley thought maybe he got a hold of one, but he ripped one right at Alan Bannister, who was right there for the play. Two outs of fifth. There's Mick. He's 0 for 2. Starting to come down his average a little bit. Norhagen puts down the sign. Baumgartner with the pitch. And that's a single one to 13. That's a base hit for Mickey Rivers. He rips one through the right hand side. Six, seven. Seven, one to 13 is a single. That's a six. So River with a bait set. Really so two outs won't. So two outs, Mickey on. And now here's Bucky Dent now in the two spot. His first at bat today. He's hitting 227. Home run, two RBIs. Baumgartner will stay. Rivers will stay put. He's only one to 10 to go to, to go to second. Nardhagen puts down the sign. Lefty to the righty matchup. No, he hits a free calm. Bucky Dent is really happy. Ground ball to short. Nice play there. Gets him. And that will end the fifth inning. It is two to one. White Sox. We go to the ball. It will be Nordhagen, Fabi, Bannister, and Orta. The bat for the White Sox here in the fifth. Nordhagen, righty, Bannister, righty, Orta, lefty against Figueroa here in the fifth. Again, Figueroa pitching well. Once it puts down the sign, Figueroa in the pitch. Three, seven. Ooh, struck him out. Almost found himself a, a dead column home run. That would have kind of sucked. He would have missed it, though, but still sitting out there all by its lonesome. So here's Alan Vanster, one out in the fifth. Once it puts down the sign, Figueroa, foul ball. That would have been a foul been an out. So it's like a wasted throw. Here's the pitch. That's a five, eight. Round ball short again, Bucky Dent, who's been there, uh, came 
came in came in after the injury. We'll have his third, third time, third chance today. Second out. So good job there. Here's Orta. Orta has walked and popped up and scored. Months of Santa sign, Figueroa and the pitch. Two, two, goodbye, baseball. Deep drive, right field. George Orta could, did what he couldn't do yesterday to fulfill the cycle. Way back center field, Rivers back, put it on the board, gone. Home run, George Orta. Home run for the good guys. White Sox lead 3-1. to one. So 3-1 to one White Sox here in the fifth as George Orta goes deep and far and gone. So 3-1, Orta hit it off his own card. Munster puts down the sign, Figueroa and the pitch. That's ground ball to first. Good play by Scott. Gets it, gets to the bag in time to end the inning. White Sox add a one in the fifth. We go to the sixth. It's already getting late for this Yankee team who has had problems hitting. It is 3-1 Chicago. So now it's Munson, Jackson, all by Pinella. They're here in the sixth. Yankees 1-4-1. One, and one. Just, Boy, it's why this team is struggling to hit. Norn Hagen puts down a sign. Rock Baumgartner and the pitch. Five. Three, five ball right field. Let's see if they can get a gift from Cordell Washington. We call, we talk about that a lot, but they're going to have to get some on the defense sometimes. Washington's a 3-E-10. That could go over his head, too. Let's see what happens. Does he get over his head again? No, he makes the catch nicely, nicely played. So one away. Here's Reggie. He has walked and reached on an error. Norhagen puts down a sign. Bob Gartner on the pitch, and that's a walk. So Jackson does get a walk on that 6-9. So now the Yankees will bring the tying runner to the plate. Yeah, because we thought of the and now here's Lou Pinella. If you don't value defense, Oscar Gamble is a great play, is a great play here. But that means putting Jackson is four in right field somewhere. So again, what do you value? So Norhagen puts down the sign. Lefty Baumgartner to the righty Pinella. Three, seven, ground ball, hard to short. That's a Taylor made double play if I ever seen one. Taylor. Or flicks at the Bannister, Bannister to Johnson, and you get two for the price of one. Let's head to the bottom of the sixth inning. It is three, it is three, one White Sox. Three, five, and one for the Pale Hose. One, four, and one for the Yanks. So here's Lemon, Johnson, Moore for the White Sox against Ed Figueroa. Munson puts down the Figueroa. Six, 11, ground ball back to Figueroa. That could be a problem. Figueroa, not so good. He's a 3E27, so it's hit at him. He fields it. Does he make the play? Does he throw him out? He got him. Nice job by Figgy. One out and a six. Good hustle there by Figueroa. Here's Lamp. Here's Lamar Johnson. One for two. Knocked in two back in the first inning. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa and the pitch. Three, nine, five ball center field. He swung at ball four. Rivers is there, comes in, makes the catch, and there's two outs. Walks on eight and ten, rolled the nine. That's why I figured he pumped that ball four. So with two outs here in the sixth inning, here is Junior Moore. He's one for two. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa looks in. Here's the pitch. Two, 12, right drive. Go! Oh, what a play by Nettles. He snagged it. So Nettles snags the liner. Two, 12. Let's see where he hit at. He did hit at Nettles. So we played six here at Comiskey. It's Chicago three, New York Yankees one. Chicago three, five and one, while the New York Yankees are one, four, four and one. And we play the seventh inning. All right. For all being here, hopefully you get some people on the on the secondary part of this game. I do appreciate it. Other games fly maybe in a, in a regular method just to speed things along if I can. Top of the seventh, 3 1 Yankees will be White, Scott, and Nettles against the left hander. Ross Baumgartner is staying in there, 191 innings. I think they'll probably stay with them here. It's 3 1. Here's White. He's singled and doubled. So White's two for two, trying to bring his average up. But guess what? He has another hit, 6 10. So Roy White has three hits. 6 7 for Roy White. A 10 on the 20, and that's a hit. So Roy White with three hits in the ball game. A friend of his on Facebook. So run on first and nobody out. Here's George Scott. That's why he's in this lineup, folks. Let's see if George can find find a fastball here. Norhagen puts down the sign. Here's a pitch from Norhagen. 4-3. Ground ball to first. That's Lamar Johnson. He's made continuous errors in this series. He's a 4-E-22. Let's see if he can make the play or not. 
Does he feel it? And he can't make the play. He throws it off Baumgartner's head into, into the, oh, what a, he throws it into foul territory. Roy White will take third. Scott will take second. And the Yankees have second and third with nobody out here in the seventh. Call that a single and a boot. So second and third, nobody out for Nettles. Yankees trying to get back in this ball game. Norhagen puts down the sign. Baumgartner looks in and gets the sign. Can the Yankees get in this game? Three, nine, big set for Nettles. He'll tie this game up. Three, three is your score as Nettles rips it down the line. At the 19, Nettles stops at first. White will score. Scott will come home. Three, three is your score. And Ross Baumgartner looks to be tired. So they're going to call him. Let's see with the White Sox manager. He'll come up. He's on the step looking. He calls timeout, and he is done. And he'll go to Steve Trout. He came in yesterday's game. Looked pretty good. So he'll come in again. Bottom the seven. Three, three is your score. Here's Fred Stanley. Keep the lefty out there, and I'll keep Stanley out there. So Hagan puts down the sign. I'll have a choice now with the injury. So here's a pitch from Trout. One, eight is a ground ball to short. That will get the runner at second. Stanley will go and beat the relay to stay out of the double play. So the chicken beats that. Yankees with a tie game now. Here is now Mickey Rivers. One for three in the ball game. Norhagen puts down the sign. Trout. Six, five. Pop. It's straight up. That's a straight pop up. Bannister there waits, waits, makes the catch for out number two. Two outs of the seven for a 3 3 ball game. And now here's Bucky Dent. He's 0 for 1. So Dent needs a big hit here. Norhagen puts down the sign. Trout looks in. Let's see if they see if they do keep him out there. He hits the lefties well. And there it is. He does hit a shot to the deep left field. This could be trouble. 3-3. Three, three. It is. Oh, it gets knocked down. Otherwise, he goes around the bases. That's a double for Dent. Does not score the run from first. We'll see if Stanley can score. They're going to try to send them, I bet. Let's see. It's a 1-15 to 15 to score. We'll send the lead runners. We'll hold the trailing runners. Here's the throw to the plate. Oh, it's a 17. He's tagged at the plate by Norhagen. Typical Yankee season I'm having. Tagged out at the plate with a 17. It's a 3-3 ball game. Bottom of the seventh. Let's get up and stretch. Three, eight, and one for the Yanks. Three, five, and two for the White Sox. So Pryor, Bell, Norhagen against Figueroa here. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa with the pitch. Three, ten, fly ball left field. White is there. Makes the catch for out number one. So one out. Oh, Dent misses it by a triple. Goes for it around third and gets thrown out. That's a Yankee season in a nutshell. Here's Kevin Bell now. One out in the seventh inning. Munson puts down the sign. Bigger roll up pitches. 5-11. Ground ball to second. That's no longer Randolph. Let's see if Fred Stanley can live up to his position. He's a 3-E-39. I am going to cry. He holds on to it, throws, and throws away. He throws over George Scott's head, and that's a hit and a boot. So Fred Stanley commits the error. Runner on second and one out. It's a 3-3 game. So now with Bell the go-ahead runner, Nordhagen up. You don't want a lefty in there. They don't have much lefties. I think Figueroa with his 5-R, this is the spot he wants to be in. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa from the stretch. Runner on second. One out. Three, three. Ground ball. Back to the mound. Figueroa's got it. He looks bell back. Throw a strike to Scott for out number two. So two outs in the seventh. Here is Alan Bannister. He's 0 for 3. Struggling with the battle. Hitting 133. He's got stuff. Order on deck. You don't want to pitch to. You almost want to bring in Don Hood again to pitch to order. Munson puts down the sign. Figueroa, and it's a 4-7. Yes, he gets the job done. Five ball center. Rivers there makes the catch to end that. No runs. One hit. Almost a costly error. We go to the eighth. New York three. The Chicago White Sox three. So now let's see what the White Sox will do in this case. Steve Trout looks like we'll stay in the game for the pale host as we go.
go to the eighth inning of a very good ball game. Wayne March is here. How you doing? I got the two views, yes, but I love how you got it. Because if I go full screen like this, okay, let's talk about this, Dwayne. So let's do this for a minute. Dun, 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 Okay, so if we go this, I lose my dice, which, again, that's what you're doing, and I don't want to do that, so I want to play with dice. So let's do this. So we can have dice there. Okay, but where else can I put it? How, how can I move where it is in the left-hand corner? Can you, you can't drag this so I can put it, like, in the third base box and maybe expand it and make it look bigger. Can I? I'll be on this stream for about 35 minutes, so I'll sit here and listen to Dwayne, his magic from his Atlanta Brave broadcast and New York Yankees. I've done 78 Yankees enough where I've done that enough to watch. So, so but so by doing 79 and doing my MLB 80 replay, that kind of gives Dwayne and I a little uh, venture. If you put the if you put the link in the chat, I can join you. Oh, I could have I can have my bill, I could have my I can have my Bill White and uh, my Bill White Frank Messer or you can be my scooter huh let's see so do I want how, now how how do I add the I know that da, 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 da. give me a second here video slide no extra camera oh I know where it is it's um Oh, ah, where do I put it? Sorry, where do I put the, there it is, found it. All right, so we want to copy. All right, Scooter, let's get, let's, let's get you in here, buddy. And we'll see what we can do. Copy the link. Yeah, I just found it. So it was covering up my stop sharing thing. So here we go. I don't want any. I want. I don't want. Ever, I don't want everybody in here, unfortunately. To the next three. Here's the scooter, Dwayne Martz. Yeah, it looks like you got it. You can make that bigger, Mike, if you want. Okay. Uh, you know I don't if you go I don't like edit. it in the Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it in my I don't like it in the left hand corner. Okay. Underneath your um where it says um Or is that basically you have the same thing, yeah. Yeah, where it says um underneath the picture here. You should have like a um a plus mm -hmm. button. And it should say layout when you hover over the plus. When you're in StreamYard underneath the um, screen. So, so he, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the plus plus. So you, and it's, what if you hover over, it should say layout. And, oh, all right. I'm on, I'm, 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 unfortunately, I'm on, unfortunately, I'm on Wi-Fi. So it's, okay, so I get, right. I get solo, what, what does it give me? Mute solo layout removed from stage. Is that what I get? Is that not what I'm looking for? No, like I say, it should be like a should um, be like a pencil on beside it, and then a plus button. What? And the plus button lets you else. make a layout. Huh? Like I say, unless okay. in your I'm, again, you I'm on the twenty-five dollar one. If you're on the forty-five dollar one, then I probably... right. It might be the difference where you can put this. Yeah. Put I'm it on there, but you can't edit it. Case. Okay, I, I know, I know, I know you're talking about the plus plus. So hang on. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Let me hit. It's it. It's under present. Yeah, it's under present. So it's under. Now, it so you don't get slides. No, it should be right camera, underneath the video screen. file, or I guess that's sharing. That's right. Yeah, you shouldn't have to hit the present. It should be literally underneath um, your screen where you have all the features at where you can click on and make it one. Screen and split screen. Over oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I see the plus. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, okay, Dwayne. Okay. 
Thanks, Scooter. Yep. So I see. So I see the edit layout. I see it now. A new layout. So what, what do I hit? So Plus. you can do a new layout and name it like Stratomatic Setup, and then you can um, edit that the mm -hmm. way you want it. And then every time you do Stratomatic, you click on that layout, and if you have the um, cameras and all set up correctly, it'll it'll come up slick as you please, and you'll never have to do it again. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, okay. So, I'm wondering. So, I'm looking at a blank screen right now. I guess. So, you have to do that when you're not in the game, I guess, right? You could you do, it do it now, but Mike, starts, yeah, if I'm you guessing. want to, we can do this after you get done your game. And we can kind of go like offline. Okay. I can walk. Oh, no problem. I can, way it ain't I can your probably game. figure it I think. I mean, yep. um, if, if anything, I just want to move the dice if I can have it on the screen. If I can have it on the, you know, way my game, way my stadiums are set up. I mean, I don't know how yours. I don't know how your, uh, how your, uh, how your, how your fields are in dig digital diamond. If you like mine or not, but uh, I kind of, I kind of like it. So I have room down my left and third baseline, so I could put like correct the video. exactly. So That's where you got room. I, I just like put it over the darn that, um, in either coaching box announcer. or something like that. Yeah, I just put it right over the announcer box. That way you don't get to see. God, yeah, I didn't realize you can do that. It's like, holy, yeah. Yep. Yeah, but it looks good. Yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather not show my entire desk like I'm doing right now, but it's a, right. yeah. All right, I'll leave it there. It makes it yeah. look better then. So, all right. Yeah. I will continue on with the game then. Yeah, and you can see now you can see the scoreboard better up there uh, and yeah, as far yeah. as New York and Chicago. You're more than welcome yep. to. So we're in. We're in. Why heck am I in this game? I'm going to get back to my game. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So we're I think in it's just the, the top, top of the eighth, eighth inning after the, after the seventh inning stretch. Reporting it. Top of the eighth, yeah. Top of the eighth, and that that uh, commercial break, seventh inning was report was a was a nice advertisement for Streamyard. So top of the eighth, so far <laughs> the Yankees are three eight and two. The White Sox are three six and two. So it will be Munson, followed by Jackson and Pinnell, right, left, right, to take on the left-hander Steve Trout, who's in for Ross Baumgartner here. Whiskey Park on a Sunday, Pinnell. Let's go and roll some dice, and it's going to be Munson, followed by Jackson and Pinnell against Trout. Here's the pitch. That will be a 4-9, and that will be a base hit down the line for Munson. So he's getting his average up a little bit. He, Like he said, he like I said, he was 0 for the homestand against Milwaukee and Baltimore. And like I was saying, Duane, if you I don't think you read what I've said about this. My this is my New York Yankee 1979 alternate universe replay, and um, so basically I'm using my own I'll use my own lineups. I'm going to allow trades, so I'm making trades when need be. I reacquired Mickey Rivers a um, couple games in the season. I wanted him back. That's who the Yankees traded to the Texas Rangers in, in '79. Rivers came yeah, back to the team. Um, I'm also yeah. going. I've also been using Thurman Munson's 1978, uh, 1978 so, season so card. So um, we've already put this contract that he's not allowed to fly. So he will <laughs> not be allowed to. Uh, he will not be able to make a flight home sometime during the season. He's staying. He's staying alive. He may get hurt, but he's actually on a full season yeah, card. So his injuries will be very yeah. limited. So. He will not. I, I refuse to play in as played seminar replays. I'm not playing. I've been listening to the Munson games lately, including the on radio. A guy I know on YouTube does. He put the, he put the radio broadcast of the game after where they did the whole Cardinal Cook um, uh, presentation. Not sure how much Yankee base. You're in Maryland. I grew up in New Jersey. Not sure how much you were able to watch then. Of that stuff, and then then the Monday night game was the game where Mercer had the four RBIs and won it after doing the eulogy that day for Munson. And then that game I found too. They have on there too, and that's the radio broadcast. But that's with all the three fellows in there. That's not the Keith Jackson Cosell game. That's actually the White Messer and Rizzuto game. So, cool. and that's really cool listening to that. So, so and that was against Baltimore, and that was Mike. And they did an interview. Frank Messer did an interview with Mike Flanagan. Um, before the game, who I think committed suicide, I think, and he did that. 
before he interviewed him before the game. He had a great 79 season, too. So, yeah, top of the eighth, asking, three, nine, and two. White Sox, three, six, and two. Munson on first, eighth inning. Jackson the bat. Jackson will hit against North, against Trout, lefty, lefty. Here's the pitch to Jackson. Five, nine, seven, struck him out. Jackson down on strikes for one out here, eighth. So, Jackson down on strikes. Here is Lou Pinnell. He's in there because he can smack around a lefty a little bit. Let's see if Lou can do that for me here. Pinella is over three. Hit into a double play his last time up. Come on, Yanks are one and seven. They've really struggled. After winning Friday night, which was not televised, they went ahead and then got smacked around um, on, on my other stream I did earlier today. Five, six, as Al, go, as Al goes on and doesn't straddle the back. Fly ball, left field. That's played by, by Junior Moore. Comes in, makes the catch. And that's two quick outs. And this Yankee bullpen has been atrocious against some needs I have to look at for this team right now. And here's Roy White, who has been struggling and all of a sudden has three hits in this ballgame. Two singles and a double. Let's see if we can hit it out to one of these White Sox defenders. Norhagen puts down the sign. Trout from the stretch in the pitch. Five, six. No. Nope. That's a fly ball left field. That'll be more makes the catch, and that will do it for the Yanks in the eighth. No runs ahead, bottom of the eighth. It's a 3-3 tie. Hold on. This could be a tough one. As Figueroa, he's going to try to stay out there again. I'm going to try to keep their innings, but he only had 105 innings for the Yanks this year. Probably had arm issues after a good 77 and 78 season where he was over 200-plus innings. So he had some arm issues. So he'll pitch the Orta, Washington, and Lemon. Ugh, yeah, yeah. Again, <laughs> one lefty in this one le one one lefty in this uh, bullpen, and I'm not happy with him, and and makes it for a very uncomfortable bullpen. I'll tell you, you can see my screen, right? The sure I, believe, can. I don't have it doesn't hide things like other systems. Yeah, it's like I see your stuff. All right, yeah, only lefty I have is Don Hood, and he's a uh, zero and one with a 36 ERA through an inning, work three right. hits. He's been in a couple games. He's rarely lasted. So do I do I bring in Mr. Hood to get the couple lefties out because they are more stronger versus others? But again, when I bring him in, he usually walks guys and then lets the the middle disorder beat me. So oh, okay. So I'm hoping Orta. Geez, let's see. This is the thing about the new strat this year. They give you statistics against what they're gonna do against their against their opponents. So if I bring in the White Sox lineup. Uh, Orta against Figueroa, at least the pending stuff. Yeah, he's almost um, almost a 900 OPS against him. He's one of the higher guys. Washington's the same way. So I might have to bring in – I may have to bring in Hood just to save face here. I have no trade. And this is where the Yankees have to look for a lefty somewhere. I was I was just offered um, Don Ossie for Bobby Mercer, but unfortunately – Along with Munson, Mercer is one of my all-time favorite Yankees. So I didn't want to like do that just for the too. sake of things. So I felt uncomfortable getting rid of Bobby, even though it might have been a better deal. But Ossie had a horrible year, and his card is absolutely it sucks nuts. You so like the signs that, that wouldn't have helped up there about Bobby so being number now one. Now I bring it. Yeah. So, so this makes things interesting for Orta. He drops his stuff completely down off the face of the earth against the lefty. So, definitely the cards are different against the left-hander. So, we're going to definitely – he just can't hit Hood's card right now. Hood is not good in either direction. So, <laughs> Munson puts down the sign. Hood from the stretch. 2-11, good thing. That will be a nice out. So he'll hit the Scott. He'll feel it. He'll go to the bag, and the out is made. So, one out here in the eighth. Good job there. So, that paid off. So. So now here's Claude L. Washington. I, I saw, again, like I said, I saw one of his home runs uh, when I was in college. He hit the home run against the Tigers, I believe, it was the 17th or 18th inning home runs on YouTube somewhere. That was a long last game at the stadium. So Claude L., two for three with a double. Munson puts down the sign. Hood looks in, 2-7. That's a strikeout. So again, good job there. And White Sox don't have any, a lot of hitters who mashes the left left-handers. Uh, Junior Moore, but he's probably going to scare me too much. But here's a good center fielder in his day, Chester Earl Lemon, 0 for 2. Lemon so far in the game is 0 for 3, a strikeout and a couple ground outs. Munson again puts down the sign, Hood to Lemon, 4-10, he just misses it. Line drives the shortstop right at Dick. 
who's in who was in came in for injury case because my best player Willie Randolph went out with a day by day injury and I'll lose him for the Orioles series coming up so that's not going to be good. So so for the Yankees here in the ninth, see if they can get the run they need. It's going to be Scott Nettles and Stanley. Scott in for Chambliss because Chambliss has not been hitting and Scott kind of likes hit lefties this season. Norhagen puts down the sign. Here's the pitch. Three, 12, line drive right at fire. Oh, he hit a bullet, but hit right at somebody. So Scott mashed one, but unfortunately hit right at somebody. Hit at Bell, one out in the ninth. Here's Nettles. Nettles, one for three, couple ribbies. So Nettles, see if he can find one here. He's he hit it left. He's not totally pathetic. Norhagen puts down the sign, lefty, lefty matchup. Oh, he almost found one. Ground ball second. He was looking for it. Bannister on the play. Throws him out. Oh, he got him. Would not have been home run against a 2-4, but a 2-2-3 would have been out of here. Two outs in the ninth. Here's Fred. He's going to have to stay in here. He's going to have to play this series against Baltimore. Again, got a few other moves I can make. Stanley 0 for 3. Likes hitting lefties. It's kind of in his favor. Norhagen puts down the sign. High 2 con we need. 4-10. Hey, that ball is deep. That far left field, that's going to ping off the wall. Fred Stanley will scoot in the second with a double. 4-10, 1-3 is a home run. 19-18 is a double. So a two-out double for the chicken. So the chicken's on second. It brings the top of the order up. That's what we want to do, flip the lineup around. Rivers has been a nice acquisition. He's going to have to be a bigger acquisition now. Left left matchup against Steve. Try oh, they go to the no, oh, they walk Rivers. You son of a gun. First and second, two outs, and Bucky Dent's the batter. So Rivers gets the free pass. You're gonna pitch to the guy who is who he, he likes to hit lefties a little bit better. So we'll see how this will work. First and second, two outs. Rivers on at first with the intentional walk. Put that in your scorebook. Snorhagen puts it down the sign. Trout from the stretch and the pitch. Make him pay, Bucky. There's a shot up the middle for a base hit. That's down the line. Thou hug the corner. Stanley will score. Rivers getting a good jump on. First will head in the third. We'll stop right there. And the Yankees have taken the lead. They make him pay for the intentional walk. So Dent with a big hit. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, hang on. Three. What did I roll? Three, four, three, four. Shoot. I thought I rolled a, I thought I rolled a three. He's not going to score yet. Ah, don't you hate – yeah, just like you're doing your game. Don't you hate when you misread something? Oh, exactly. 75% the, nice the score, and we're going to send we're gonna send the chicken around the corner and see if he can score. The chicken can cross the road. Stanley to score on a 75%, and here's the throw out, I think. Oh, out at the plate. Second Yankee throwing at the plate on a Sunday afternoon. An mm. 18. Oh, Jesus. Mm. And I, I had Munson coming up next. I should have maybe held him, but 3-3 uh, three, three score. We had to the bottom of the ninth inning. Let's see if the White Sox can put, the, put us away here. Johnson, Moore, Pryor, right, right, right. So we're going to get probably Hood out of here. So let's see what the Yankee bullpen look, looks like. Gossage has been anything close to being lights out. So let's look at their splits. So yeah, we don't want to, we don't probably want a lefty in there. So let's see what Mr. Oh, oh, let's bring in Mr. Ron Davis and see if he can hold the fort down for these Yanks. He's not a horrible hope. No, he's okay. So Davis will come in, 0-1, 5.68 ERA, 6 hits, 10 innings. Lamar Johnson followed by Moore and Pryor. Here's the pitch. 4-5, line drive, shortstop. Good play by Dent, one away. Good thing he did not pinch hit there. I would have to re-roll. So one way, and now here's Junior Moore. Let's see if they pinch hit for Moore. Nope, they'll let him bat. That's good. He has nothing on the right side. So this is where you don't want to give anything up. So Munson puts down the sign. Davis looks in. 5-9. Ground ball to second. Good play by Stanley. Throws him out. Two innings. Throw almost here to free baseball. So now here's Greg Pryor, the shortstop. Pryor to home run in Saturday's ball game. Hitting 345. 29 is back. So he's a little exceeding. So let's see what happens. Munson puts down the target. Davis to Pryor. 5-4. Left field. Way back. 
Fargo's way, it is gone. Home run, White Sox win this mm. game 4 to 3. 5 sucks. 4 home run, 1 to 11, 8 is gone. And, and that ball will be out of here. Home run for the good guys. Oh, no. Pryor was not. Oof. I caught a break here. Pryor, they'll call it back on an umpire review. Greg Pryor <laughs> was not. I don't know if you're familiar with Stratomatic. Pryor huh. is not. Pryor is not powered up against righties. He's a W. That is a single. So he does not homer against righties off pitchers' cards. So Pryor's on at first. He has home runs on his own card, but he can't homer off a pitcher's card. So the game is not over. So now it's a runner on first and two after this count as a single single and two advancements. So now here's Kevin Bell, one for three in the ball game. So Davis gets a reprieve. Munson puts down the sign, pitch from Davis, one nine, and he finds a phantom walk on a one nine. Son of a gun. Davis is not happy with this. And he'll ask, holy cow, where was that pitch blue? First and second, two man. Now I wonder who my home plan prior. Probably like Don Deckinger or something like that. <laughs> Somebody who usually people don't like. It is actually Greg Costma. So, and now it's now first and first and second and two outs. And here's Nordhagen, the guy they should probably pinch hit for us. Absolutely duly squat against righties on his car. Let's see if they bat for him. First and second, two outs, and they will let him bat. That's a mistake. They have guys on the bench that could probably hit for him. I'll let him stay out there. Munson puts down the sign. Come on, Davis, get me an out. Three, seven. Again, he almost misses that phantom home run on a three, six, and that would have been gone. If that was a three, six, that's gone. That's a three, seven, and that is a strikeout to end the inning. So, strikeout for Davis. We have free baseball. It's head to the tenth. It is three to three. So, so far, the Yanks, three runs, 11 hits, and two errors. The White Sox, three runs on seven hits and two errors. Here's Thurm. Thurm, so far, is two for four in the ballgame. Average up to 175. New pitcher for the Chicago White Sox, I see, is going to be, I believe his name is what, Ray, I think it's, uh, I think that's an author. Let's see what his first name is so I don't upset the parents here. It is uh, uh, Randy. Randy Scarberry pitched in the Saturday game. He's 4.550 ERA, four innings of work, giving up 10 hits, so definitely hittable. So here is Munson, two for four. Put a righty in for Munson, so that's a good choice. Norhagen puts down the sign. Scarberry looks in and pitches. Four, eight. Oh, dodged it. Fly ball, center field. Play by Lemon, makes the catch, and there is one away. So one away in the 10th. So now up will be Reginald Martinez Jackson. So Reggie comes off. He's walked, reached on a two-base error, walked and struck out. Norhagen puts down the sign. Scarberry from the windup. That's a 4-6. That's a single one to four. An 11 is too high. That will be an out. Line drive to the second baseman, Alan Bannister. So we have two outs here. And now it'll be Lou Pinella. Let's we'll see if the Yankees bring somebody out to bat for Pinella here. But then again, he is. Well, he's in right field. I can do that. I can bring Bobby out and swing. So let's bring in. Let's bring in. Ooh, no, no, no. Um, yeah, I want this. I want this at bat. So we'll bring in Mercer to play right. But big O Oscar Gamble will swing. So Oscar comes in with the big fro, hitting 300, three for 10, couple home runs. So big year for Oscar in 79. He gets a chance to swing here. Norhagen puts down the sign. Scarberry from the windup. 2 10 fly ball center field. Lemon there makes the catch. And I'll end the inning. We go to the bottom of the 10th. We're still tied at three. Ron Davis will come out, pitch another inning. And the right fielder should be Bobby Mercer. So we'll bring him in. Gamble is not a good outfielder. So yeah, that'll be a uh, Mercer plays a two as a right. So that is going to be a, a better option for Bobby to play right then. So that's good. Just doesn't have that many at bats. Makes it hard for me to get him in there. It's White Rivers Mercer now in the outfield, so it's not too bad. Bannister will bat, followed by Orta and Washington here in the bottom of the 10. 3 11 and 2 and 3 7 and 2. Bannister in the pitch. 4 8. Ground ball the second. That's at Stanley. Not Randolph anymore. Could be an issue. Let's see what happens. Hit the second. Stanley's a 3. He's a 3 E39. Does he make the play on it? 
No, yes, he does makes the play. It was a actually it was a rare play, looks like it. So it went off Davis, Stanley with one hand and threw him out. So you can score that one four three in your score books. So here's George Jordan on one. He's one for three. Home run back in the fifth inning. So Munson puts down the sign. Davis to Orta. 6-11. Ground ball back at Davis. He's a 2 e 0 so can't commit the error. He can give up a 15% hit. Let's see if he does that. Let's hope he doesn't. Davis picks it up and throws him out. And, oh, Orta's on. So let's see. Glances off. Davis's glove rolls away. He has himself an infield hit. Yep, rolled a 2. Son of a gun. Roll the two. So only way you can get a hit off a pitcher's card is a one or two, I believe. And he got that one. So he got the 10 percenter on me. So now orders the winning run at first with one out and brings up Claudel Washington with no lefties in sight. So now let's see. They're not going to run order. Not doing anything. Munster, so let's see who what they're doing with George. He's a 40. Yeah. OK, they're not holding him on. So that's fine. So now Munster puts down the sign. Davis from the stretch, got to make sure it's a good pitch. Fly ball, center field, good. That's a hit the river. Comes in and makes the catch. And there's two outs. Two outs here in the 10th. We Chet Lemon, dangerous hitter here with two outs. Runner on first, two outs for Chet Lemon. Lemon the ball game, 0 for 4. Munson puts down the sign. Davis from the stretch. Four, eight, ground ball the second. I'm going to get burnt by Stanley one of these times. This is going to scare <laughs> me, I think. Hit the Stanley again. Again, he's a 3E39. Let's hold breaths. Stanley makes the boot. Son of a gun. Mm. So E4 by Stanley. Could not field it. First and second, two outs. And now you have to deal with Lamar Johnson. So again, again you look at your what's going on here. Lamar Johnson and 386. Does he have anything else? I mean, he doesn't bring in Torres. He's got guys on the bench who mash his lefties, righties, but don't see him bring him on. Johnson's a tough little character, 309 hitter. Uh, I don't know what you do in this case. So for, unless you bring in a strong righty like Beatty or Clay to get a righty out here. But then again, I don't like them going further on. That's the problem. So Davis is going to try to run its course. First and second, two outs. Munson the sign. Davis working the stretch. Winning run at second, two outs. 5-10. Oh, that's in the dirt. Let's see if Munson blocks it. Let's see if he blocks it or does he get a pop-up. Come on, Thurm. Give me a pop-up. Let's see. Does he get me? He does. He actually picks up a dribbler, throws him out the first to end the 10th inning. Let's head to the 11th. New York 3, Chicago 3. In the 11th inning here. From Comiskey Park in Chicago. Dan Burke, how you doing? Uh, the one he was worth grabbing. I kind of like the extra stuff they put in for the uh, the extra stuff for the lineup screen and stuff. They have some other little things, but it is a it is a seventy dollar investment. So unfortunately, if you want if you want the new nineteen eighty four season, um, or the new. 2023 season, you're going to have to pony up to 70 bucks to get it. That's one thing Strat does to you, and a lot of people get missed their business plan, unfortunately. So I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and argue it with, with, with people on that. So that was the thing, you know. Uh, you know, when I did the Robbie game, Wartburg game, uh, he was not, he was definitely not a Stratomatic guy. That was an argument back and forth with him a lot. So, you know, that's a game I play, that's a game I, I can play. That's why I did it. So, uh, so top of the eleventh, we have a three-three tie. New York three eleven and three. Chicago three eight and two. So now it's going to be White followed by Scott Nettles, and it's still Scarborough the righty. So White will stay out there. I'm a friend of Roy White's on Facebook. He proves most three for four is a double. He posts a lot of Thurman stuff on there, which I usually like. Norhagen puts down the sign. Scarberry is a one seven. Struck White out, and White is going back to the dugout with one. Now, here in the 11th. So here is Scott. Let's see now if the Yanks decide to go the Spencer or Chambliss route. I mean, probably going to go Chambliss here because Spencer's bat is a little bit too, er ooh, um, too erratic. But, boy, does he muscle up against that righty. That's we have the individual batting matchups with the new version. Chambliss, yes, is nice where he just gives you a nice bat. But Spencer, oof. 
So I'm going to bring in Spencer. Bang for your buck here and see if I can find one. Former White Sox, top of the 11th one out. See if Jim can find some power. One eight one nine two eight three five. actually. So chances are there. Norhagen puts the scar down. Oh, let's make sure they don't, they don't go to a new pitcher on me. And squad douche me. Nope. Okay. Scarberry stays in there. Norhagen puts down the sign. Scarberry and the pitch. Five, seven. Didn't matter. Base hit. So he does get the, he does give up the hit on his own card. So Jim is on with a base hit. So pitch hit for Spencer. He's one for six before this. Now he's two for seven. So Spencer on with one out here in the 11th. And here's Nettles. One for four, two RBIs. So Mr. Nettles, let's see if he can come with a big hit here. Nordhagen puts down the sign. Scarberry from the stretch. Three, five, new. No. Ground ball, the second. Hit right at Bannister. He'll flip the prior back to first for a Taylor made double play. That double play will end things to the price of one. Let's head to the bottom of the 11th. It's still 3-3. Three, three. And as long as the Yankees continue not winning this, it scares me even more they're going to lose this. So first base is now first base is Spencer. They'll bring a gold glove in the game. He is now 1-E-12, so that will be good, hopefully. So now here is Moore, Pryor, and Bell, right, 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 against Ron Davis. See if they keep Junior Moore out there this time. He does. He'll swing. Munson puts down the sign. Davis with the pitch. 2-10, fly ball left field. That's why it comes in, makes the catch. Out number one. So now here's Greg Pryor, the shortstop. Pryor missed the home run his last time up when he was not. He had three home runs on the season, and he was not powered versus Right-handed pitching, and that cost him. That cost him the win. He was jogging around the bases when the ball the park. He's a W versus righties, and a W versus lefties. The only way he's getting a home run in Stratomatic is a home run on his own card. He has one. He hit one in the series. He has a one seven versus a righty, one to seven. Otherwise, can't hit a home run against a pitcher. Four eleven fly ball right field. That's Mercer. He's out there for defense in this case. He's a 2E7. Let's hopefully Bobby can come up with this. Mercer comes in on it. Looks like it's going to be hit right at him. Should be a play for Bobby. And does. Makes the catch. Two outs. So here is Kevin Bell. One for three of the walk. Munson puts down the sign. Davis looks in and the pitch. Five, seven. Struck him out. Gets the strikeout. We played 11. Let's head to the faithful 12th. We're still tied for three. It's a Sunday afternoon here in Comiskey Park. So would have been an actual TV broadcast. I would have been uh, about 11 years old. So Fred Stanley will come up. Stanley will be followed by Rivers and Dent here in the 12th. So Stanley will be followed, as I said, be right, left, right against Scarberry, who stays on the mound. Gang can't do anything with the bench because of the Randolph injury. Norhagen puts down the sign. Here's the pitch. 5-8 line drive to the first baseman, Johnson. So Johnson with the catch, and there's one. Of course, we're playing real baseball here. We're not playing Manfred Man. Uh, I've done that in other computer games. Forget to turn this. Forget to turn the uh, the setting off, and all of a sudden you have a runner at second base in the 1970s. Runner on 12th, one out. Here's Mick, one for four of the walk. Norhagen puts down the sign. Here's the pitch. Five, six, five. I ball center field. Lemon there. He'll make the catch, and folks, that is two quick outs here. So here's Bucky Dent. He's been in here forever, it seems, since the injury to Willie Randolph early in the game. Dent so far in the ball game is ready, two for three. So welcome to the lineup, Bucky. Hitting 280 on the year. Nordhagen puts down the sign. Starbury looks in. That's a 5-8 line drive. First base, Lamar Johnson there. Yankees go three up, three down. We have a little bit of pitcher's duel. Bottom of 12 coming up. Hold on to your, hold on, everybody. It's still 3-3, three, three, heading to the 12th. So it will be Nordhagen, Bannister, or again, a chance to put in a pinch hitter here as Ron Davis will stay in the game and they'll bat Nordhagen here, which is a mistake. Munson puts down the sign. Davis looks in. 5-7 struck him out. So Ron Davis doing a nice job. I'm probably going to – well, they're off on a Monday on a travel day before going home for Baltimore, as they say in the land of Maryland. So he's going to – they'll get three there. So hopefully Davis will get a day's rest. So we'll go ahead and blow him out as much as the game lets me. Munson puts down the sign. Davis on the pitch. 5-9. Ground ball the second. Picked up by Stanley. Throws him out for out number two. So two outs here. Two quick outs. And now here's Orta again. Again, a dangerous left-handed hitter with nothing to help me here. So 
unless I throw in a somebody who throws like a Gossage who dominates left handers, and I just hope I don't hit Orta's card. So Munson puts down the sign. Here we go. Davis to Orta. One six ground ball down the third. Nettles got it. Throws him out three up three down the head to the thirteenth. It's still three three. 3-12 and 3 for the Yankees, 3-8 and 2 for the White Sox. 13th inning here, Comiskey Park on a Sunday afternoon. All right, we continue playing here as a Yankees game. And Munson followed by Jackson and Mercer. Munson hitting 171 now. He's 2 for first 5. Norhagen puts the sign. Scarberry still on the mound. 5-7, there's a single one to three. There's why he's a three-yard. Gets a lefties. That's an auto hit. And that's a 19, so that will be an out. So he's a, kind of a weak liner. Weak liner, out. second baseman. Bannister for out number one. Now here's Jackson. He's over three at the run. Score, see if Richie keeps him the Yankees on this plane with a lead. Norhagen puts down a sign. Scarberry looks in. Not the calm you want. Five ball, center field. Lemon back. Up makes the catch, and there's two outs here in the 13th. So here's Bobby. Boy, an opportunity for Bobby to get in this game. Let's see if he can swing one. Mercer's first at bat. He's two for 10 right now with a couple ribs. He's got power there on the three column. Norhagen puts down a sign and the pitch. 6-10. Oh, he found some shots down there. Let's see what he got. 6-10. That's a line drive, extra bases, but it's picked up by the outfielder. Let's see if I can read that. That is a 16. That's a double for Mercer. So a two-out double for Bobby. And the Yankees will have the go-ahead runner on. So Mercer finds some damage down there. So now the Yankees will have to bring up Roy White. Three for five in the ballgame. A chance for them to take the lead. Gossage is up and loose and needed. Norhagen puts out a sign. Scarberry looks in in the pitch. Four, ten. Oh, ground ball to third. This is, oh, no, hang on. Oh, I got I got a release pitcher. Reroll. So Ed Farmer will come in. Ooh, four calm guy too. So here comes Ed Farmer. Should be a White Sox, not a Ranger. Top of the 13. Farmer on the year. Ooh, getting hit a bit. Three innings of three innings of work. Five hits. 10.13 ERA, but a decent card. So he's probably having some issues on. So Farmer will go to Roy White. Right-handed pitcher. White batting left-handed. Norhagen puts down the sign. Reroll is done. Three, eight. Oh, that's a single one to nine. That, I believe, is either six or nine. Either way, that works. That's a six. That's a base hit. But one base advancement, and that will not score the run. So, again, they are playing. They are getting finger cuts here. Base hit for White. It will send. And it will send Mercer to third, but that's it. He stays there. It was knocked down as Lemon came up charging. First and third, two outs. And now Jim Spencer up. And this is where if you're in a White Sox, a lefty would probably be your best bet. But Spencer's going to have a chance, a swing against a righty, and he will. First and third, two outs, a chance for Jimbo to get the Yankees to get a lead here. Former White Sox here. Norhagen puts the sign. Farmer from the stretch. First and third, two outs, four, eight, and he draws the walk. They're pitching around him. Bases loaded, two outs, and now you get the third baseman, Greg Nettles. So Nettles comes up, one for five, couple RBIs back in the seventh against Baumgartner. So now it's going to be bases loaded, two outs. Lefty, righty, matchup. Let's see if they pitch. Let's see if they make sure he built no pitching change. They don't. Norhagen puts down the sign. Ed Farmer from the stretch. Faces loaded Yankees and two outs. Five, nine, ground ball the second. Picked up by Orta. Throws them out, and the Yankees will leave them loaded in the 13th. Oh, my goodness. The Yankees are just having little, as they say, little little bleeders and little paper cuts. Spot of 13. 3, 14, and 3 for the Yanks. 3, 8, and 2 for the White Sox. In case you're wondering. Men left on base, I'm sure it's a ton. The Bombers have left 11 on base. The White Sox have left eight. So White Sox will send up Washington Lemon Johnson left, right, right against Ron Davis. He has been absolute. He's been a horse out there. Davis in this game has gone four innings, two hits, a walk, and three strikeouts. And he can normally go between three and four. 
let's see what his card reads. He is a three. So he go normally go two plus one. So do we let's see. It might be time for it might be time for Gossage. Lefty, right, right. I mean, you don't want you don't want him to beat you. So let's do it. So start the inning. You bring your best pitcher in, and here's the goose. You're at home, you you're out, you're on a road, so you don't want your closer in right now. You can't get a you could still get a save, but Gossage is your best pitcher against lefties. He's a six L, so he definitely pitches a lot better. The problem is power both sides. Gossage does give it back up. So Munson puts down a sign. Goose, number 54 from the hill. Two, four, ground ball to second. Good play by Stanley. Throws him out, and that's out number one here in the 13th. So gets away with that one. Here's Chet. So Chet Lemon comes up in the ball game. He's 0 for 5. So Munson puts down a sign. Good foul ball out of play. Ooh, that, he, might have swung, he may have swung out ball four there. So here's Lemon. Stay out of the three column there. 2-9, ground ball on a short. That's what you want. Dent picks it up, throws him out for the second out here in the 13th. So now here is Lamar Johnson. This was not a, this was not a year for Gossage for innings, as someone brought up to me earlier today. This was the year Cliff Johnson and Goose kind of had that little battle in the uh in the uh in the dugout or in the locker room and he broke Gossage's thumb or something. So don't have Cliff on the roster. Munson puts down the sign. Gossage to Lamar Johnson. Two, four. Luckily, all the stuff was there. Ground ball to third. Nettles got it. Throws him out. And, folks, we're headed to the 14th inning. Still tied at three at this point. Your parents are probably wanting their TV back. So we're in the 14th, late in the afternoon on a Sunday. So it's going to be Stanley Rivers Dent, righty, lefty, righty against Ed Farmer, still in there for the White Sox. So here's Stanley again. Yankees really have nothing they can bring out to the suit. And the bench right now, it's Chambliss and Jerry Naren. So first baseman and a backup catcher. So let's go here. Swing away. Put that over here a little bit. And here we go. Play ball. So 6-12, all sixes. Fly ball left field. Shallow enough. More with the catch. And that is one out. It's one out in the 14th. Oh, my goodness. So here is Mickey Rivers, one for five with a walk, running out of running out of his, his line, I'm looking at. He had hit all the way back to the fifth inning against Baumgartner. Three, nine, nothing enough, three column. Pop up, straight first. That's Lamar Johnson, steps up, makes the catch for out number two. Two outs in the 14th, and now here's Dent. Again, he just came in game as defensive replacement. He's up for the fifth time already. He is two for four, two hits. Norhagen puts down the sign. Farmer looks in, 1-6, ground ball to short, picked up by Pryor, throws him out, and that's all for the Yanks in the 14th. And then to the bottom of the 14th, it is still 3-3. Gossage. So, right, all these righties coming up. Then you get the lefties again. So, do you watch Gossage's innings, or do you, or do you pitch to them? Let's see. Gotcha just has he has that auto blast on a four four and another one to two is on a four five. Again, this is not a great year for Gossage. Uh um bottom 14, and it's either gonna be Clay or Beatty. Clay is an is an absolute beast against righties. So we'll bring in Ken Clay here. He has struggled. But I want to limit Gossage a bit. So Clay 0-1, 4.05 year. I sound like my bullpen has lost two or three of these. So I told you my starters have been good, and then we lost leads late. Munson puts down the sign. Righty, righty, matchup. Two, eight, and that's a single right field. So it didn't matter. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's a, it is a re-roll. So new batter comes up. That would have been a strikeout for you, but that's a roll I play. Again, if I don't hit the... If I don't hit the play first and get the manager decision first, I re-roll it. So Thad Bosley will now be the batter. So Bosley is the new hitter for the White Sox. He's one for two on the season, and we roll again. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that either. Deep fly. Right field. This could be gone. Way back. Right field. Mercer leaps up, brings it back in, and saves the home run. Bosley, one for 13 is the home run. Roll the eight. 
15. So Mercer brings it back in, and we're still tied at three. What a catch from Mercer. Bad at him. If they did it back in the day, probably not. Munson puts down the side. One out in the 14th inning. Three, six. Hopefully not a pinch hitter again. Nope, three, six. That's a ground ball on a third. Makes the play, and there's two outs. So even though I gave him a re-roll, he almost hit the home run to win the game on me. Two outs in the 14th. Here's Kevin Bell. One for four the walk. He will swing away with two outs. So Clay looks in. Four, five. Ground ball the second. Clay has a one, two, three inning. Let's head to the 15th. Still tied at three. Don't you, are you happy for clicking on join the broadcast, Dwayne? Three, 14 yeah. and three for the Yanks. <laughs> three, eight and two for the White Sox. Munson, two for six. And let's see here for third back in. So he'll go righty, lefty, lefty here. Let's we'll see if we can find some damage here. Norhagen puts down the sign. Here's the pitch. Four, seven to walk. So Munson is on. No one to run for firm on the bench. So go ahead and go get on first firm of the walk. And now here's Jackson. Yeah, last time they asked Jackson the bunt. Yeah, that caused a suspension. So Reggie's going to hit away. 0 for 4 with the walk. Let's see if Reggie can find some damage. Norhagen puts down a sign. Farmer from the stretch. 2-6. That is a line drive deep right field. That's off the top of the wall. So that will be played. Let's see. That is a 19. So that is a double. And let's see what my odds are. Munson's a 12. I'm proud to try this. He's being held to the 11. Probably a 55% to score hold. So now it's second and third with nobody out. And now let's see if the Yankees can get themselves a run. So the White Sox will bring the infield in against Farmer. Norhagen puts down the sign. Farmer looks at see if the Yankees can get something here. One, six, struck him out between a couple walks and some other stuff. Mercer swings at it, one away. So a big opportunity just to get a fly ball or a ground ball maybe to the right-hand side somewhere. And now here's Roy White having him a day, four for six. So White's average up to 263 now in 19 at bat. Boy, he can use a hit here. Norrigan puts down the sign. Farmer to right-hander and the pitch. Six, four, ground ball to third. Infield is in. That will turn Bell into a, into a four. He can't field. He's an E41. So let's see if the odds play in my favor. So ground ball to third, 3E41 is Kevin Bell. Does he make the play on it? The play is, no, he throws over the head of Lance Johnson. Two-run score, and the Yankees take a 5-3 lead. Thank God. The White Sox Smart. defense finally gave me one. So that's a third error for both teams. White goes to second, and now let's see if we can hold it. Here's Spencer, one for one with the walk and single. So he's on Third time up already. Third plate of turns. Norhagen puts down the sign. Farmer to Spencer. 4-8, and there's a walk. So wheels are coming off on Ed Farmer right now. That'll make it runners at first and second with one man out. And I'll bring up Nettles. So Puff Daddy comes up in first and second. One out for Nettles. 184. Boy, he can use a hit. He's one for six games. Don't do well for your average early in the season. Norhagen puts down the sign. Farmer to pitch. 6-3, ground ball to short. I don't see a double play. He's a 4. So let's see. They're going to have to literally, literally roll a 20 for a double play. That's up the middle. That could be a base hit. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he gets the field. He gets the play at first. Son of a gun there. So Pryor makes the play. He gets the out at first. Second and third, two outs. And it's up to the chicken. Fred Stanley had a double way back in the ninth inning. So let's see what the Yanks can do. Top of the 15, up by two. Norhagen puts on the sign. Farmer from the stretch. Little insurance. Pop the short. And that would be dangerous. Didn't want an injury there. Didn't want Jerry Naren playing second. So 112 is a pop to short. Pryor is there. Makes the catch and gets me out of the 15th. It's 5-3 Yanks. We go to the bottom of the 15th. And Ken Clay for right now will stay in this ball game. And we'll pitch to Nordhagen, probably banished to see if they pinch it for Nordhagen finally. We've been asking for that most of the day, and they do, and it will be Rusty Torres. His second at bat of the season, 253. He's a monster versus righties. Home runs on 210, 11, 12, 3, 11, and 12. 
Eight home runs and 170 at bats, probably mostly against righties. Oh, okay. No lefties again, Mr. Torres. Hmm. Well, he's up by two, so I can throw him a fastball. It doesn't matter. I'm thinking if I was up by one, I was almost saying I want to put him on base. Munson puts down the sign. Clay looks in three. Ted struck him out. Oh, wow. 311, 312 are gone. 310 is a K. So Torres swings over it. He was looking for the he was looking for the bomb. One away to get the dangerous Torres out of there. Now here's Alan Bannister. One out in the 15. Bannister will bat. Munson puts down the sign. Clay looks in, trying to get this win. 111 popped the third. Again, that was where Bannister wanted his stuff. Yeah, he's getting some weight breaks. Pop the third. Nettles there. Foul territory. 78 playoffs. Nettles makes the catch in the New York Yankees win the AL East. No, sorry, Red Sox. So two outs here in the 15th. 5-3 Yanks. Here is George Orta. Two for five with the home run. So let's see. Orta again. Nobody on base. Nothing to worry about. Munson puts down the sign. He said, groove one. You're up by two. You have nothing to worry. Here's the pitch. Six. He almost did. Six. Six four is a walk. Now you put the tying runner on, and now it's to keep Dwayne up longer. <laughs> six five six six. And now let's see what happens here. Oh, Claudel. Oh, I don't have a lefty either. So, in case you're wondering if you know dice probability play app, so Claudel hits a home run on a one eight one to eighteen. Auto jacks auto home runs are basically four eight ninety five percent chance. Six five six six are automatics. Yeah, hold on to our breaths. Let's see. Washington up two for six with a double. Munson puts down the sign. I almost want another righty in there. So let's say the Yankees have it's going to come probably down to Beatty. You know, he's not always a non closer. I'll get burnt by the non closing role if I bring Beatty in this case. This basically means he, well, he'll get who he also gives a plus eight, too. That's a help as a hold. So Clay's have to stay out there. We're gonna have to avoid three rolls. Here are four rolls. Here we go. Munson puts down the sign. Clay from the stretch. We continue this insanity. Fly ball, right field. Mercer camps. Caps under it. Makes the catch. The Yankees win. The Yankees win. Early Yankees here. As the Yankees finally pull this thing off and win this 5-3. Yankees five, nice 16, and three. They'll go to two and seven. They'll go, they'll go to back home play Baltimore for three games. And hopefully, hopefully they'll go in with some kind of momentum. Uh, White Sox go to two and six. Clay's one and one. Farmer goes to 0 and one. 22,000 faithful here at Comiskey Park in Chicago, April 15th, 1979. Yankees left 13 on base to White Sox nine to some. Little housekeeping here for the Yanks. Not much hits. Denton had two hits. Munson with two hits. Roy White, five for seven and two RBIs. Get, get yourself a game. Roy White, five for seven in this ball game. So for the White Sox, four, two for five, two runs scored, had the home run. Johnson Moore, also Pryor and Bell with hits. Again, Yanks, five, 16, and three. The White Sox, three, eight, and three. Again, Kevin Bell. The White Sox third baseman cost the White Sox a game. He did on, on the Friday night game. And again, a big error in that game will cost them two. So the Yankees get two out of three here in Chicago. So again, their next series off Monday. And they'll head home to play. And they'll play Baltimore starting on Tuesday night. Again, the pitching matchups. Probably get Tuesday night is what the Yet they call the sports channel game looking at an old eBay schedule, the 79 Yankee pullout ones. I always love to look at. So I'm using that as my, my base schedule, not baseball reference. Kind of makes it more, more. I even have a 78 for you, Dwayne. You can actually read it that way instead of the baseball reference. So Tuesday, actually, you're looking at um, Mike Flanagan against Ron Guidry. So we'll probably, and that will be a day game at the, that'll be a day game at the stadium. So probably you have that one at some point. Then it's going to be Wednesday. It'll be Dennis Martinez against Tommy John on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, it'll be Jim Palmer against Louis Tiant in the finale. And then the Yankees will play the Rangers all next weekend, which will be mostly TV games according to the schedule. So we'll go ahead and keep a lot of those games on there, play play one and play two away, and go from there. So thank you guys for coming. 
I'm going to see if anybody else scooted in. Thank oh, you, thanks Dwayne, for, having for me, man. taking it's out cool. the second announcing job. I uh, what a ball game here at the stadium. An hour and a half later, and the Yankees do it get was. this win. So thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it, Dwayne, for coming in. Maybe give my Yankees some – giving our Yankees some luck since you're playing the same in the eighth season. So Exactly. So, appreciate it. Have a good rest of your evening, and hope you have. We'll see you again real soon, all right? You too, Mike. Okay. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I'm trying to end this right now, and having a happens on Wi-Fi, I guess. There we go. All right. So end stream. Wait, no.